Hey y'all, what's up real fam? Welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel if you're not new here. <laughs> Alright, so today, I wanted to ask a question that I don't think we have realized. This is a common thing we do. You know, words exist. We stay stuff because that's just what we do. We say stuff and we don't really think about what we're saying. The practice of etymology is interesting to me. You know, the study of words. Y'all know I'm a writer. If you didn't know, now you know. Pay attention. <laughs> I love words. Now, one word that has intrigued me over the last few weeks, maybe months, I've been thinking about this. One word that's been really intriguing me is the word research. I know you're sitting there like, wait, what? Why would the word research be intriguing to you? It's just, okay, research, okay. Do some research. Yeah, we say that all the time, right? We see a topic, we see something we want to know more about. And what do we do? What do we tell everybody? We say, oh. So we say research. Now, what we don't really think about is the word research, literally. Think about it. That word re and search is two words, re and search. The prefix re means before, right? As in release, restore, reform, you know. That's what it means. So, as far as searching, think about what we're doing when we search. When you're searching, you're looking for answers. So you're looking for answers, something. You're looking for a conclusion. You're looking for that something you can kind of pinpoint and say, okay, this is what I'm looking for. 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 This Re and search. Why are we searching again? The word research literally means to search again. Right? Think about that. Why do we constantly say that we want to search again? We're looking for a new topic. We're looking for a topic, you know, let's say we're just looking up whatever. Let's say we're looking up natural hair. People tell you, oh, I learned this and this about natural hair. Go research it. Okay, research. Research means you've done it before. Research means you've looked up natural hair before because it's re and search. You're not searching, you're re searching. Why does that term exist? Yo, I don't know. What, why? Why do we, we use that term so much and we don't even think about we're searching again? Why is it as if we're searching again? If we don't know the answer, we wouldn't be searching in the first damn place. <laughs> I mean, we wouldn't be searching in the first place. Like, we gotta really think about why we say things. Re and search. Instead of telling people to re-search, we should be changing our vocabulary to say, go search. Why don't we just say search? What's wrong with just saying, go search for the answer? Like, to be honest, what's the problem with that? Why are we not using that term instead of research? You know, I don't I don't know. It just blows my mind when I thought about that a few weeks ago. It just came to me because me and my husband were talking about something and I thought about the word research. I'm like, re? Wait a minute, re? What? Why are we researching? We're not researching anything. We're looking for the first time. We're searching for the first time. We're discovering for the first time. We're not reading anything. You know, <laughs> I hope y'all understand me. You know, I'm not just sitting here th thinking I'm a, I'm a loon. You know, I love words and I just I just want to put that out there, you know, to get y'all to think. Because <sighs> when I made the discovery, it was so baffling, I had to write it down and talk about it, you know. <laughs> That's what I do. I write shit. <laughs> now, I don't write as much as I used to, but I'm trying to get back on it, you know. But I had to make this video to talking about it. 
as some food for thought, just some food for thought. We need to pay attention more to what we say. So, that's basically all I've got. Uh, I think I've said everything that I wanted to say. Yeah. If you can, break down certain words in your everyday vocabulary or certain things that you see. And if you don't understand it, break it down, try to find the meaning behind it because it really will help you refine things and it really will help you ground your life better if you know exactly what you're saying because words are spells words are spells yes they are think about it spelling spelling right mm -hmm. it goes that deep words are nothing but spells so if you're saying the wrong word you're putting spells out there that you probably don't want, don't even want to put out there and you don't even know it I mean, it's the case with a lot of things. We we say a lot of things, and we don't really know what it means, what it really, really means, you know? Hell, even cuss words, we don't know what the fuck they, those mean. <laughs> we don't really know where cuss words come from. The internet says a lot of things, but do we really know? No, we do not. Hey, it is what it is. <laughs> There's only so far we can search for those answers. So, uh, well. I think that's all I have to say, y'all. I think I've got it all. I think I said everything. Just take that as some food for thought. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day. Make sure you like this video. Give this video a like. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about it. Let me know your opinions and your thoughts and all that other good stuff. And make sure you subscribe as well. Um, I hope that you guys are having a great day, second minute, month, and hour. Peace out.